Hello everyone, we are here with another build order, it's the Portuguese one but now in arena and we are doing 22 population plus one villager and loom into castle drop in your faces but the most important thing about this build order is that we are going to build two pikes so we are dropping the castle forward on this base with two pikes because as you know and you probably know when you are grinding usually the mat in arena is it's starting to shift for um for a scouts build order uh, you are going fast castle as well but you are doing some scouts to control the relics so to to drop a castle forward you probably need two pikes so we are here to explain that build order and let's start right away with it. So, as you know, uh, I just recorded this game I was playing and uh, it's really simple to follow. First of all, you start with four on the ship. In this case, it's a cow, so it's a little bit different. You have uh, 150 food. You want to uh, to scout your map right away to see where your berries are at as you can see oh oops okay he's going there so four on ship and now a total of four on berries this is really important for everyone to to do that this is beginning uh, as you can see I'm sending four I scouted all my resources I can see the bar here I can see the bar at the top and uh, I have two berries here. Okay, so uh, a really a small detail that I do is that uh, I'm already bringing the deer. As soon as you have, uh, as you finish a cow or more or less two sheep, you want to start to bring the deer in. As you can see, I'm finishing this cow. Of course, you only want at most two corpses rotting in your town center, but. Don't forget, this is really important, start bringing your deer and only kill it as soon uh, as you finish the previous corpse. In this case, the cow, the boar, the deer. Okay, another important detail, as you can see, as, as soon as I select those two villagers, I shift the villagers to the next berry. I did the same with those two. If you have the EPM, do this it will improve the efficiency of the berries once those two depleted the villager will be retasked to the next one without going uh, to another S important detail here uh, you go the 11 villager or in 20 pop 12 pop i mean you want to build house not 13 but 12 and build the house right next to the bar, okay, so as soon as this villager finished the house, he's getting this bar, and you can see, uh, almost all arenas uh, are have uh, 3 or 4 tiers, okay, in this generation I only have 3, so I finish uh, bringing all the deers in, and as soon as I finish the bringing the deers in, I went for a bar, okay? Oh, wow. So, uh, summarizing everything until now, for on ship, for on berries, bring the deers, the 12th, 12th villager, builds house and brings the bar, and as soon as you have 10 on food, okay, or the 16th population, you build the lumber camp, okay? Uh, so we have 10 under the town center, we have 4 on berries, and now, just now, I'm doing the lumber camp. Okay? Uh, as soon as you see that the bar is running out of food, you go bring the next one. So 16th villager went to wood, the 17th two, and the 8th, 18th builds the house. Don't forget this house, okay? <laughs> it's really important and uh, you can see as soon as this bar finished i started the uh, i'm starting the next one so a uh, really interesting efficiency and now as soon as you have four on on wood you go with last three to gold okay um 
I'm erasing this annoying tree just to, <laughs> to build the lumber camp there, the mining camp there, just to, to have maximum efficiency on the, those two gold piles. That's a small thing. Don't forget to, to scout the opponent's base to see if uh, everything is going what is going on on the opponent's base if you can see any resources that you can deny with your, your castle drop and now I'm clicking for the lich and this is the point okay it's really simple three on gold okay and simple enough you go six on wood so we already have four so if we add ten and our town center you send two to the wood and you have a total of six. This villager got title for a little bit, so you can see this. Um, okay, long time. <laughs> uh, so this is actually really can be it's manageable. Okay, so this you can see that this villager got titled a lot of time. As you can see, this villager got uh, stopped as well, but you can see maximum efficiency on this lumber camp. Perfect. Always task the eight villagers always to the next uh, cow or next ship. Always shift Q, bring the ship close by. And now this is really important, guys. With Portuguese, Loom is research 25% faster. Okay? So to minimize as most as most as you can build send four villagers to build to build your uh, your buildings i forgot one and i'm sending the second one this will uh, erase uh, almost any idle time because of uh, this team bonus okay so it's 20 percent less time this is really important i should build this uh, the blacksmith as soon as finish the blacksmith market as well and now you send everyone to stone not everyone but you need 10 on stone okay really important you, you have five i'm bringing the villagers that were under town center okay and now the ones that were on berries really important this part is that I remove everyone from gold as well. So, to explain you why, is that um, you don't need gold at this point. You want to get the barracks, you want to get the stone, okay? Therefore, you need 10 on stone, you need to build the barracks, okay? So, as you can see, I'm sending some villagers, this is a small thing, but most important is 10 on stone, 6 on wood and rest on food and food villagers are the ones that are building the barracks okay as you can see we have two pop space but of course we are banking up some food so of course uh, we want to try to keep it's an all-in strategy okay but we want we want to keep uh, uh, the town center uh, running right so now prepare seven villagers okay seven villagers to go forward uh, let's see if I do the um, the wood upgrade. It's possible to to do the wood upgrade, but uh, I recommend you to to skip, okay, for time being. And as you can see, I'm going forward right now with seven villagers and two pikes. What? This villager went back? No, go back. You need to build. Oh, he's going to that gate! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes the <laughs> the pathing of this game. Okay. Another thing is that as soon as you have uh, around 600 stone, you can drop the stone and retask the villagers to wood or gold. To keep uh, Oregon again production, this is really important, guys, and bear this in mind that to keep the Oregon gun production, generally, you just need. Uh, nine on wood and um, eight on gold. Okay, remember that number: nine on wood, eight on gold. And uh, this is really important. Now we are building the castle. We have two pikes. We have the scouts, and uh, I'm already going to build a monastery. At home, I'm still collecting some of the ships to keep my town center production going of course probably you will you will have some idle time uh, but the most important thing is that you drop five 
six farms, okay? As soon as you can. Remember, the most important thing is to, as soon as you have the castle up, you start attacking the stone wall, okay? And, yeah, produce organ guns, okay? As you can see, we have one villager in queue, we have one organ gun. Oh, go in! Oh, I forgot to, I wasn't looking here, probably. And you can see I, I sent uh, more to gold just to produce uh, uh, a monk. Uh, it's really important, at least for me. And uh, of course, with Portuguese, you only need the. Uh, uh, it's a monk, it's only 80 gold. Okay, so it's a little bit less. As you can see, I'm producing, I'm making some farms at home without. Uh, stopping the organ production, okay, and yes, you have four farms, any excess in wood, you build a farm, to have six, and of course, now you need to try to adapt your strategy, this is really all in, it is really insane timing, okay, so you are most likely to do some damage, uh, but you need a strategy, of course, this monastery could be uh, more farms, those villagers that are on your... I, I told you guys that you only need the um, 9 on wood and 8 on gold. For example, you can adapt strategy. You can mine stone I, instead. In this scenario, I... I try to... Yes. I will try to keep uh, villager production because you never know if uh, the opponent is able to Point defend forward. well the, the forward. So, I... I made six farms, okay, and uh, in here, I only after that, I'm going to stone to build probably another castle forward. <laughs> yeah, and or more town centers to have some, um, some, uh, some more economy, because this is a really nice pressure, but you need to think a little bit ahead of the game. Okay, now I'm collecting relics, this is really important. With this castle drop, you have the the map control. So I like to do this monastery to collect relics while keeping pressure. You can see never stop villager production, organ guns as well. <laughs> At uh, it's not uh, 20 minutes, you, you already have insane amount of organ guns here. You can see the extreme AI. It's it's not uh, able to. Um, to withstand the production and uh, this pressure, uh, we deny the castle, the dancers is going down and it is just uh, insane. Yeah, and guys, this is it, okay, the build order, this is the Portuguese one on Arena. Uh, if you have uh, any tips on uh, how to improve the build order, tell me on comments what is the follow-up that you would like. Another castle, uh, if you like uh, more economy, if you like relics, you, are, you, you can add a seed workshop. Uh, you can even, don't do any villager, you can try to go fast in, for example, to drop some Fatorias. You can do whatever you want now. But tell me on comments what you would like to, to be the follow-up. and. Uh, Especially, tell me, do you want to see another build orders? I hope that you like, don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a nice day. And this is the end of the year. I wish you all happy new year. And uh, in 2023, you achieve everything that you want. Don't be like uh, Pope Gregory the Seven. Be like Uset Tingas. Apply this build order on those ranked games. Have a nice one. See you. Bye-bye.